Hi, this is FreeCAD, a completely free program for technical 3D modeling, and this is the CAD CAM Lessons channel, a place where you'll find lots of tutorials in which I show the basics of 3D modeling in FreeCAD. Before we start, just a quick note, you'll find links to my FreeCAD mini courses in the description. It's also a great way to support the channel. Now let's get started. Now I'll go to FreeCAD and show you how to design this part. We will create this part in the part design workbench. FreeCAD has a modular structure. We have several different workbenches, modules here for various applications, but usually we create 3D parts by first creating a 2D sketch and then building the 3D model using solid operations based on that 2D sketch. In FreeCAD, we do this in the part design workbench. To start a new project in this workbench, we click the parametric part button, and here we start by creating a sketch. In this video, I will show you how to build this part step by step. We select create sketch, and here we indicate the sketch plane. We will start by creating a sketch on the X Z plane. We simply click on this plane. Here, we will start by creating a rectangle. Select the rectangle command and draw a rectangle so that the first corner of the rectangle is at the origin point of the coordinate system. Just move the cursor near this point and click the left mouse button. For the dimensions of this rectangle, enter 50, press enter, and for the second dimension, enter 70 and press enter. We now have this rectangle, and based on this rectangle, we will create a solid by extruding the sketch. To do this, we close the sketch and select the pad operation. Here, we specify the length of the extrusion, enter 100 millimeters, and click OK. Now, we will create a pocket in this solid, and we will create a sketch on the face of the solid. Click on this face. Select Create Sketch, and here we will first use Reference Geometry. Select this command, Create External Geometry, and click on this line. Then right-click to exit this command. Here we created this Reference Geometry to the previous solid feature. We will be able to position the next sketch relative to this geometry. Now select the Rectangle Drawing command and check the Rounded Corners option. Draw a rectangle approximately like this. And for the radius value, enter 10 millimeters. OK. Right click to exit the rectangle drawing command. Now we will define the dimensions here. We will do this by defining the distances between these points. Select these two points and choose the dimensioning command. For one axis, enter 5 millimeters. Press enter and do the same for the other axis. Select two points and enter 5 millimeters. We do the same with this point. Here, we just need to indicate this point, and the dimension from the coordinate system origin point will be added automatically. OK, here too, we set the dimension to 5 millimeters in both axes. We close the sketch, and now, based on this sketch, we will create a pocket in this solid. Select the pocket operation. And here, we specify the depth of this pocket, for example, 20 millimeters, and click OK. Now, we will create the next solid feature. This time, we will create a sketch on this face. Select this face. Choose Create Sketch. Select the command for creating reference geometry. Create external geometry. Click on this line to have a reference to it. And select the rectangle drawing command. Place the corner of the rectangle at this point. When you hover over this point, it will highlight click the left mouse button. And for the dimension along the x axis, enter 50 millimeters, press enter, and for the second dimension, click the cursor anywhere. Now select the dimensioning command and indicate this point and that point. And here, enter 15 millimeters as the distance between these points and close the sketch. And now, based on this sketch, create the next solid feature. Select the pad operation, and here the extrusion was added away from the solid. Therefore, check the reversed option. And here I would like the extrusion to go up to this face. We have an option in the extrusion types called up to face. And we indicate this face. In this way, we have created the next solid feature. We click OK, and we have this solid. Now, we will create another sketch. This time, we will create a sketch on this face. Select this face and choose the Create Sketch option. Here, we will start by creating reference geometry. 
create external geometry based on this edge and based on this edge. Next, select the rectangle drawing command, check the rounded corners option and draw a rectangle approximately like this with a radius of 10 millimeters. Okay, here we define the corner radius. I right click to exit the rectangle drawing command and similar to the previous case, we will define the distances between these points. I select two points, choose dimensioning and here I enter 5 millimeters. Next, I select these two points again, and for the second axis, I also enter 5 millimeters. And here I select this point, I select this point, and here I also enter 5 millimeters. And then I select this point, I select this point, and on this axis, I dimension the rectangle to 25 millimeters. We have this sketch, we close the sketch, and based on this sketch, we will create a pocket with a depth of 20 millimeters. Now, I would like to create additional pockets on this face. Of course, we could create additional sketches here, but we can make it a little easier for ourselves. We will use a linear pattern here. Select the operation you want to copy in the linear pattern and choose the linear pattern command. Next, we specify the number of items. Here, I enter three items and we define the direction of the linear pattern. Select the Select Reference option and indicate this line. And here, for the length of the linear pattern, we can decrease it by clicking this arrow until we get the desired effect, or we can simply enter a specific value. In this case, it will be 65 millimeters. We click OK, and in this way, we have the additional solid features. Now we will create another sketch also on this face. We select this face, we choose create sketch, we select the reference geometry command, create external geometry, we create reference geometry based on this edge of the solid. We select the rectangle drawing command, and as before, we place the first corner of the rectangle at this point. Then, for the dimension, we enter 50. We press enter, and the second dimension we set arbitrarily. We select the dimensioning command, we select these two points, and here we enter 15 millimeters. We close the sketch, add another extrusion, check the reversed option, and here we choose up to face. We select this face and click OK, and we have the next solid feature. Now we select this face, we choose Create Sketch. Here we will create reference geometry create external geometry based on this edge and based on this edge we select the rectangle drawing command and here I would like to place the first corner of the rectangle on this line but this line is somewhat obscured by the solid because the sketch plane is below this part of the solid. To switch to the view of the sketch plane we select the view section command and now I can place the corner of the rectangle on this line simply by hovering over this line the line is highlighted and when I click the left mouse button, the corner of the rectangle will be constrained to this line. I will place the second corner of the rectangle approximately in this location. I right click to exit the rectangle drawing command. And here, I define the dimensions between these points. I select these two points. I select dimensioning and on this axis, 5 millimeters. And on the second axis, we also enter 5 millimeters. We will do the same with this point. And here, also 5 millimeters. We close the sketch and select the pocket operation. We enter the pocket depth, for example, 20 millimeters, and we have this solid. Now, I will add edge fillets. I select the fillet command and indicate the edges I want to fillet. Okay, here I selected a face, so I clicked on that face again to deselect it, and we select the next edges. Okay, I will also add fillets to these edges. And here, for the radius value, I enter, for example, 10 millimeters, and I click OK. And in this way, we have created this solid. And as you can see, it was quite easy. 
And that's all for today. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to this channel.